Hi everybody, tasting day, yum yum yum, this is number 27, tasting day number 27 here at Fast Home Brew, let's get into it, okay, so here I am in the direct sunlight, which as you know, I learnt not to do recently, but this is all done before that, so uh, here I am with my best bitter, which I tried to make, kind of a light, drinkable, boy this is blurry, why is it so blurry, anyway, drinkable English bitter, and I've never made an English bitter uh, that I've been completely happy with. Uh, maybe that's because the Cooper's Kit bitter is actually so good. And this one's about the same. It's alright. It's an alright bitter. It's nice and drinkable, you know, this and that, but doesn't have those sort of um, like black currant fruity flavours that I sort of like and expect. Although it, can, it, it actually does taste really similar to some other bitters, so... I don't know, maybe my perception's all wrong. Maybe what I like isn't an English bitter. But anyway, um, this looks like rating time. What are you getting? It's, yeah, just one thumb for that one. I've got to do better at English bitter because I love the style. But anyway, moving along. What do we got now? Okay. Ah, oh, yes. A golden owl. This one. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, so this one was special because it was a Dr. Smurdo's golden owl, which I've made before. But... I used the Victoria's Secret hops instead of Amarillo, which he actually uses. So I think this one's almost an exact recipe. And as it turns out, Dr. Smurdo uh, is a local to me. I didn't even know that, so I found that out. Anyway, um, so this is all right. I think I think it's got too much rye. You know, I'd back off the rye just a little bit, but the hops are nice. And I've made heaps of golden owls. It's not particularly way better or anything than the others, but... Um, I don't know. I've I've done a lot of them, <laughs> and and you know it's good. It's good. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. So this one's getting two thumbs up. Quality golden now. Vic Secret hops, very good. Okay, now what do we got? Now we got um, ah yes, cider. This I uh, don't make cider very often because I'm not very good at it. Well, why would I be if I don't make it very often? But anyway, this is the old prison cider, apple juice uh, and. Um, yeah, apple juice <laughs> fermented with cider yeast. This time I made a big batch. I, I've never done really a big batch of cider, but uh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of... So I I reckon I bottled this in January and I shot the footage for this in March and now it's April. And actually between March and April when I recorded this, it got a lot better, so... Here I am rating it, and I'm going to give it... I think I'm going to give this one a meh. Yeah. I'd actually almost give this a thumb and a half at the moment. So it, it got a lot better. But I should do a fresh cider with real apples or something. Apparently there's some thing. Anyway, someone's got a recipe they're going to give me. Okay. Next up is the smash that I was using for all those light strike experiments. This one's Pilsner Citra. And that is looking very dark for that. And that doesn't taste like what it... Ah, okay. I had the wrong beer, as it turns out. This looks more like Pilsner to me. And as I was saying, it's the one I was using for the light strike experiments. So it was Pilsner and Citra. Oh, yep, here I am guarding it from the light because I know what happens. If you're doing sun. I'm not going to stop coming out and doing these videos in the sun because it's nice. But anyway. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. Just kill you a little bit more. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy doing a smash for some reason. It's it's not particularly, you know, it's not complicated at all. And you get a, a decent drinkable beer out of it. It's just, um, you know, it's, less is more, right? Yeah? Eh, whatever. Anyway, this is probably one of the better smashes that I've made. So this one definitely gets a two thumb up rating. It would be between this and my Golden Promise Smash, I reckon. That would be my favourite ever. So that's how good that one was. And finally, um, this one is my Strong Owl. And it looks like I'm brewing something across my shoulder. Yeah, I am. There you go. Yeah, Strong Owl. This is the one I dumped some honey in at the end. It's got a nice dark colour with a bit of a ruby hint to it if you get a bit of light in it. And this is just fantastic. It's actually kind of hard to describe. The, the honey really adds something to the flavor and it, it's kind of dissipated a bit over time but in a in a good way maybe it was a bit upfront at the start but boy i would really enjoy drinking sipping sipping this throughout the winter if i thought it was going to last that long unfortunately but i'm enjoying it too much but anyway um it's it's 
it's just a nice warmer. So this one definitely, this one's going to get two thumbs, isn't it? Yep, there we go, two thumbs. Oh, and a wild foot has appeared. Two thumbs and a foot. So there you go. That is a, that is a fantastic, strong ale. Really good. Okay, so tasting day number 26. Thanks for watching the video. But my next video is going to be next Saturday. Uh, I'm going to do it at 12 o'clock my time. It's going to be live tasting of the everything stout. Plus just answering any random questions you have for me. And uh, I don't know, God knows what else I'll be doing at the time. So tune in for that. I'll put a premiere or whatever so you know when it's going to be. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.